Reading books is one of the greatest pastimes to do throughout many decades. But in this present era, you don't need to worry about having to strictly read through a paperback or a hardcover book. If you're a minimalist and also tech savvy, you can opt for this kind of device right here, which is the Amazon Paperwhite. Whether you're thinking about buying it for yourself or are curious to know more about it, let's check it out together. Welcome to the Review Nerds YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing some cool products for you that you might enjoy. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video. Also, please like this video and leave a comment down below if you enjoy our stuff. Now, let's get back to the video. If you ever have read on your smartphone or tablet, you might not have much difficulty getting the hang of this. This is also basically a tablet, but it focuses more on allowing you to have that familiar experience when it comes to reading books. There are definitely some pros and cons when using this, so let's go through with them. First, let's talk about the pros of this device. Amazon Kindle is usually considered as the most useful gadget for a lot of readers out there. Like other Kindles, it comes with Wi-Fi and a variety of front lights that will help you read at night. So focusing on this device, the Kindle white paper, its screen size is 6.8 inches, which is similar to many regular small size tablets out there. If you prefer reading from a big paper-like screen, this might be the one for you. What's important about having this is its portability. In other words, being able to access so many titles that you can read just by clicking through a few tabs or buttons. Technology has become so advanced that it aims to improve our daily lives. Instead of having to wait for a physical copy of your latest book to hit the stores, you can always just choose to buy it digitally online and read it right away from this device. It's really that simple. This makes it easier for people who just generally like to read. That's it. It may not stop people from continuing to buy physical copies, but at least it's an option if you're not that into stacking a collection of books on your table or shelf. Additionally, it's also easier to check out books that are referenced by your favorite authors. For instance, you may come across other titles related to the current book you are reading, or you can check out other books just by checking out the online store within the tablet. You don't have to sync your digital copies from elsewhere when you can do it all here. It's so simple and convenient to use. Speaking of which, another important factor about having this tablet is saving space. Much like people doing everything on their smartphone rather than carrying a notepad or address book, you can own a collection of books just within your Kindle device. Instead of having to carry around a book or two in your bag, why not just use this Kindle? It saves a lot of space and you can still access thousands of books at the digital store. Unless you're into collecting physical copies for keepsakes or souvenirs, owning an Amazon Kindle will save you a lot of money and space for a long time. If you've been a long-time reader of books and always have been carrying books around as your source of food for your mind and soul, it may take time to adjust if you want to save the energy and money to upgrade into owning books digitally. You may lose the traditional features that the Kindle doesn't have, which are flipping through pages and feeling the thickness of a real book, depending on the books you've owned. This leads us to a third pro on this list, which is one of the technical features you can do on the Kindle. It's taking notes and highlighting words. There are readers out there who like to jot down little notes on the pages of a book they are reading and highlighting them. This can also apply to textbooks if you can relate to it. With the Kindle, it can pretty much do that seamlessly. Furthermore, when it comes to reading, you may come across a word you don't know. You'd have to go on your computer or phone to Google it up or write it down to look it up later. But now, you can just simply tap on the word and have it find a definition for you. The Kindle also comes with its dictionary to help readers out when encountering unfamiliar words they want to understand. This makes your whole reading experience much better, and you can enjoy the story more as well as providing you much less distraction. 
By now, you may already think that the Kindle is great to have, but take note that this is basically much like a tablet if you already own a smart tablet, whether it's a Samsung or iPad. However, the Kindle stands out to be more focused for users to be able to read their favorite stories more conveniently. If you look at the device, it doesn't have that kind of typical LED screen like on other tablets or smartphones. The screen is similar to a paper color, and with the Kindle Paper White, you can even adjust it to a warmer screen or colder to make it easier for your eyes. If you like to read at night, this can be a lifesaver. While you may already be reading some stuff through your smartphone, the Kindle makes it easier with its technology focus on creating a reading experience much similar to reading your favorite books under a warm lighted lamp. The screen doesn't need a lot of light to allow you to be able to see the words. In addition, it can last up to 10 weeks after being fully charged, depending on how often you read from the device. Other tech features include being able to read PDF files as well. The Amazon Kindle is also capable of reading a variety of content formats that are supported which include PDFs, documents, PNGs, JPEGs, and even Audible audio format. So if you're looking for a way to just read books instead of scrolling through social media before you sleep, you can go for the Amazon Kindle and read one of many thousands of books just right from the palm of your hand. Alright, now let's check out the cons of owning this Amazon Kindle. First, let's look at the practical side of it. Yes, it's portable and easy to carry on the go. But because you're mainly reading books from a small tablet, it may not bring you the same enjoyment as you did when carrying a real physical book. For instance, when carrying a real book, you probably like the feeling of flipping through pages quickly. But on the Kindle, you just have to adjust on how you can jump from one page to another by doing this type of gesture. You would pretty much have to scroll through it. Also, when scrolling through pages, you won't see your highlights or notes in the previews of the screen as you scroll through each page. To access your highlights and notes you've added onto the book you're reading, you'd have to look at a different menu that focuses on looking through a list of all the notes you've added. It can feel a bit annoying but it could be better. You may lose the familiarity of flipping through pages on a real book and see your notes more visibly, but there are benefits that pretty much overthrows these kinds of factors. And if you're aiming to have an aesthetic look, the Kindle may not help much unless you don't really mind it. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a variety of colors unless you buy a casing for it. Furthermore, it may not be very comfortable to hold if your hands are too small to hold the Kindle with a single hand. You can either get a casing that comes with a strap to insert your hand in or get a pop socket and stick on to the back of the Kindle to make it easier for you to hold whether you're lying down or sitting in front of your desk. We believe those are the only cons to owning the Kindle. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The Amazon Kindle Paperwhite has its own feeds, and if you like the convenience and portability of it, you're free to check it out at the Amazon store, which you can find in the description down below. It may not be for everyone, but it has its own perks that many readers would not hesitate to check out. That's it for today's video. If you stayed this long, consider subscribing to the Review Nerds and hitting that notification bell so you won't miss out on our future stuff. Please like this video, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.